Give it some. You want me to go again? Give it some. Welcome yeah. to the pilot yeah. of We Mean Well. There it is. I'm Louisa, Claire Deldum, if anyone wants to stalk me. I'm Jack Archdale, don't stalk me. What's your middle name? Colin. <laughs> <laughs> nah, guess again. James? No. Greg? No. Bartholomew? Yes. Bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. It's oh. Edward. It's Edward. <laughs> Got me. This is a little podcast that we're putting together. Two bloody, two of the greatest, what, TikTokers of all time? Yeah. yeah. Washed up TikTokers, yeah. perhaps, we Yeah, could washed say. up. We're fucked. Like, we're pretty old to be on the talk. I'm 28, nearly 29. I'm 32. Yeah. It's pathetic. So this is why we're branching out. We're doing a podcast called We Mean Well. This is the pilot episode. Um, just a little compilation of uh, funny yarns we've had across... Uh, the last couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. A few um, trending articles. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, welcome to the podcast. Have a listen um, and enjoy. Hopefully we'll be back next week. TBC. <laughs> TBC. <laughs> Louisa, I beg of you. I Actually, I almost beg of you to do it. But, no, just for your safety, socially, so that you're not a general outcast and you have to go back to New Zealand, don't do your pterodactyl impression on fucking Hinge. Don't do it. Don't do it, but Give it to us now. Oh, sure. You want to hear it? No shit. Okay, I've got a hatch from an egg. Okay. <laughs> Often I'll be down on the ground, but for microphone and um, yep. visual purposes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah don't do it. Is that a big fat no on the hinge voice note? <laughs> yes, it is. It's not a bad impression. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's fucking phenomenal. <laughs> it's pretty good. Like, yeah. I was born in the prehistoric times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before Louisa, I was a pterodactyl. <laughs> yeah, like, no. That's how good it is. No, that's, no I like it. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to have to see that in full fucking... Um, yeah. After a few drink, drinks, I, you know... <laughs> <laughs> full, full terror. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I used to eat play doh. Fuck, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Chomp away on it. I'd eat anything though. I'd eat my own mum if I could as a <laughs> fat child. <laughs> like honestly, nothing was safe. <laughs> like, uh, like they needed except a for l- fucking vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Like Broccoli was safe as houses, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Asparagus, not a problem. You're safe, kid. Hey, carrot, don't worry, you're cool. Hey, Twinkie, you're fucked. <laughs> hey, Chicky Nuggy, watch out, kid. You're going to get devoured. <laughs> Big Mac, you're fucked too. Snow peas, safe. <laughs> That's actually what it was like, though. Like, I remember one time. Sorry, I've just completely jumped off the hinge lights for a That's moment. Right. But I remember one time, Mum went away, and Dad made my school lunches, and he put two dry wheat bix with butter in the middle. Jesus I was Christ! Like, the fuck, Franco? And then my friend Taylor would get fish and chips on Fridays, and this is so fat. She would, she would um once she'd had enough. She'd go, scramble, and she'd <laughs> leave the fish and chips like out, and I'd just <laughs> dive on yeah, them, like dive for the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> out of the way. Like, honestly, I was like a full-blown, just like, military <laughs> sergeant, like, pushing people out of the way. My nugget, <laughs> my chip. <laughs> God, on the ground, just shoveling it into your fat fucking face. <laughs> There's a chick over there with a broken leg. You've stomped her out. Mum, mum, and you're just nugget, nugget, chip. <laughs> mum, when when my friend played the scramble game, I got all the nuggets. It's the luckiest girl today. <laughs> I'm such a lucky little Holy big girl. Holy shit, my stomach actually hurts from <laughs> laughing. The next one is, he said, believe it or not, I. So what can he do? Let's find out. Probably another impression. I mean, believe it or not, with this voice, I can do a 
fantastic Tommy Shelby impression in the bleak midwinter. <laughs> His voice didn't even fucking change. That's what I thought. I was like, I love Tommy Shelby. So I was like, yeah, if he if he does a good one here, I'm hook, line, and sinker. You got me. I reckon I can do a better one. Oh, go on. You ready? I've got. Mm-hmm. A, I reckon I've got three. I can do Tommy, Arthur, and Alfie. I love Arthur <laughs> and Alfie. Oh my god! All right, you ready? Right, Arthur, fucking grab a gun, grab Linda, right, and fucking shoot her. Tommy, I fucking love Linda. I fucking love her. Tommy, me brother. Right, and then, um, right. I know you fucking oh love her. Right, you fucking love what Linda. The fuck, Arthur, right, but fucking shoot her. What? <laughs> what the actual fuck? Those are my peaky blinders. If I closed my eyes, <laughs> the, whoa! I, I think Alfie's the crowning jewel. Do it again. Right, right. Listen, Tommy. Right, ah, oh, fuck. Right, listen to fucking Tommy. Right, okay. Linda is a cunt, mate. Right, I'm telling ya. You know, he yells. Judge, <laughs> that <laughs> is the most. Phenomenal thing you've ever done. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. Nice. I've never heard a better impression. Thanks. That's the, that'll be the nicest thing I'll ever say to you, but good, good, my eyebrows can't go down. I am, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do Tommy again? All right. Oh All right, Arthur. Right, Linda. Right, grab a gun. Fucking shoot her. And Tommy Shelby. Oh my god! Oh my good god! Uh, that needs to be your party trick. It doesn't. Fucking hell! That was. I'm gobsmacked. Okay. I'm not even going to try. I was going to give it a go. That I'd just... love that. We need comparison. Right, <laughs> Linda. I want you. No. Nah. <laughs> the, the, the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. let me. Right. Alfie. Right, Linda! No, no. <laughs> you gotta speak from the back of the throat. Right, Linda! Oh, God. How do you go on? Right, talk like that, right? Okay, right, talk like that. <laughs> Tommy, if I fucking see you around here one more time, I'm gonna get my gun out and fucking shoot you. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should do that as a hint note. <laughs> Oi, let's just change oh. my entire hinge with the pterodactyl. Yeah. We'll have, I do a really good impersonation of, of, of Alfie Solomon and do All that. All right, you fucking Tommy Shelby, Dude, if I see ya. Let's change it to like the most yes. non, the biggest cock blocking hinge of let's, all time. What else? Yeah, let, after this, let's brainstorm. Just like a photo of you. <laughs> <laughs> do you love how it always takes it me does. like. 0.2 seconds to register the insult. Do you know sometimes I get a little scared in that moment that I've hurt your feelings? Oh, because you think I'm going, How Fuck dare you, bro. You? And I'm like, I'm joking. But then I just go, <laughs> And then you, you get it. Got it? Yeah. You got it. Sigh of relief. Oh, wow. <sighs> Good stuff. I've got a fucking pisser yarn. Go on. Literally pisser. Here we go. Bedwetters for life. <laughs> Knuckles. And this wasn't that long ago. Oh, yes. I love a good I bed wedding like, as an adult. I had a fucking, I'm, I've just, my sleeping's always been bad. And, uh, but I've never wanted to go on fucking sleeping pills or anything like that. Cause I'm like, I just don't need yeah. to be relying on something no, to, no, go no. to sleep. I'm every like, now I'll just and deal then. with the fact I don't sleep well. Yeah. And yeah. that that's life. So that's what I do. But every now and again, I'm like, I got to fucking knock myself out here, bud. Like I can, I have not been sleeping. So I just got nighttime cold and flu. Like, you know, can you get the strong ones or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Whatever. I got them and I just took like four or five of them. And four or five? Yeah. Mate, you meant to have one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do it at home. Don't ever try it. But like I just I didn't I didn't know how you know, I had no point of reference and I'm like, you know, if, whenever they say two, t- take two Panadol, I'm like, I'm having six. <laughs> Because yeah. fuck that. That is also not a thing to be doing. It is, because it's like that you've got it, they've got to be hyper conservative. I reckon, like, I find the balance of what works for me. <laughs> Do it. Anyway. It's like them saying don't have more than, like, eight standards. You're like, oh, call it 18. Correct. Yep. So, anyway, I, dr- I drill these things and I'm like, rock and roll. And I'm fucking out. Like, I reckon. Yeah. It's like you wake up and you're just like, 
zonked. You're like, what even year is it? Well, I'll tell you what woke me up, kid. Whole lot of piss. Piss the bed. This no. was a year ago. This was a year and a half ago. I pissed the bed. And I'm like, oh my God, Steph's next to me. And I'm like, I fully pissed the bed here. I'm was like, it like I'm a, sober. a dribble or like a full blown, like the whole entire sheets were Remember when saturated. those vapors would be beeping and screaming at us and we're just freely pissing, pissing all through the sheets? That's what you were doing. Not dissimilar. Yeah. You needed a beeper at age fucking <laughs> 30. 30. Yeah. Steph is such a light sleeper. She wakes up at anything. Oh my God. Anyway, so I'm like, I'm She gonna... just feels the dribble. No, nah, it wasn't to that extent, but it was like, it was enough that it was like, this ain't good. So I just like go to the bathroom. I'm like, what? What's happening here? I think I might even wake rock up like bottom. midway. This is rock bottom. I, like I'm just like, this is rock bottom. I, also I just go back in and just turn my electric blanket up to like nine and just dry it out. That <laughs> is disgusting. I didn't want to wake up Steph. And then she wakes up. She's like, did, did you piss the bed? And I'm like, no, yeah. no. I am more offended at the fact that you think turning on your electric blanket just is going to like dry out the piss. It worked. Please tell me you changed the sheets. Of course I changed the fucking sheets. Did, so did you wait for it to heat up a bit, I, dry it out a bit and then go back to bed? No, I didn't go back to bed. I'm you, like, I'm up now. I've just done, you're, I'm, you're, I'm, a, I'm ashamed yeah, of Yeah, I was myself. about to say, it's, you'd hit rock bottom, you're like, well, there's, I'm not. I think I just went into the TV. Imagine room. the um, sheets catching on fire. And the police, the firemen come in and go, what happened here? Oh, a 30-year-old man pissed the bed <laughs> and turned the electric blanket on, thir- on on nine. Oh, fuck. I thought I was a genius because it, it worked. Yuck, yuck. The stench as well would have been like hot, sweaty piss the gr- stench. It, the, the great thing was it was it was odourless. <laughs> <laughs> if there is well, a great thing, a, you every You had a hydrolyte beforehand, no Barocca. No, nah, probably just took a glass of water with four of those motherfuckers and just knocked myself out. I, I haven't taken them since. Yuck. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, bedwetters for life or? No, not this <laughs> time. No, you're on your own, mate. <laughs> we put a post on the Instagram what you guys wanted in the podcast. We're going to probably touch on each week something that someone sent in. Yep. We'd like to get you guys involved. Yep. But the main one we kept having was how did you and I meet? Yeah, there was a lot of that. Which, to be honest, it's not that great a yarn, is it? Well, it's because that sex club wasn't even that fun. So it's not. Yeah. Um, we'll spin it. Yeah, we, we may as well carry <laughs> on with the yarn. <laughs> no, basically, but- I just saw you. We, we both live around the same area in the east. And I saw you one day. And I, I, actually, I saw you from afar once. And I remember telling someone, I was like, there's Jarchi from TikTok. I was like, next time I see him, I'm going to say something. Mm-hmm. And then so I built up the courage to say, hey, TikTok guy. Yes. While well, I was doing up my shoelace yeah. or something. And then you and said. And I looked up and I was like, TikTok girl. Because I'd seen your shit. Yeah, and then that was that. Was that, that was the first interaction. Was it for what, probably two months? Probably two months, yeah. <laughs> then I didn't really... Do you know what I did? I did see you a couple of times because it was COVID, and mm-hmm. I'd see you on the blower doing your dropping hot laps, hot, hot, hot girl laps. Yeah, all I do still. So now. I'd see you, but we'd never, we never fucking, you know, yarn. Um, but I did have a good track on you. Those were good binoculars. Um, but you yeah. put a tracer on me. Actually. Yeah, correct. it's in my sneakers. Yeah, correct. <laughs> correct, one of those Apple tags. Mm. They're sponsoring the podcast. Um, don't use them to stalk people. Uh, um, nah. Then we we basically had some mutual friends. Yep. And I, I was going to the gym one day, and I think there was just sort of yarns. You know, people are like the mutual friends coming back, and they're like, oh, um, Lou wants to do a video with you or something. I'm like, fuck, I'd love to do a video with Lou, blah, 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 blah. And then I'd see you when I was going to the gym. And then we got Whipper involved in our very first one. Yeah, we did. That was the first one. That was the first one. But we had Whipper. That video was Hilarious! Yeah, I like that. We should video. reshare that. We'll reshare it on the Instagram. The bloopers were the bloopers oh, were good too. So good. But so I just bumped into you down the street. Yeah, and then we and had. And I good remember yarn. like walking up to you and like hitting you in the back, and yeah. you were like, "Oh, get out, mate!" Yeah, you know, fucking, it was like an elbow or something. Yeah, there you like, going there? Who the hell's this? Yeah, yeah. And then you said, "Hey, champ." Hey, G- yeah, I was a chieftain, champion. Uh, How are you, legends? We had a good yarn, though. We had a good yarn, uh, yarn, and then I was like, let's fucking do some work. Let's do some videos together. Yeah. And then it just sort of... Um, it was easy because we lived around the corner as well. Correct. We, we lived around the corner. We could literally just be like, oi, let's smash out a TikTok in the next half an hour. Yes. Take us, you know, an hour or whatever. Yeah. 
pump out some content and do that a couple times a week. And I'm notoriously fucking not that consistent with doing video content. So Lou's been yeah, good, like, like, get, right, dragging let's go. me out the fucking bed and be like, no, can't you doing a video? And then the potty was sort of just like, I'd always wanted to do one and then I had one but I left the radio company I was with so yep. couldn't continue that. Yep. And then you always wanted to do one. We were kind of just like, Let's fucking do one together. Like the videos go well online on TikTok. You know, yeah. And it's just it seems to work. There's like a natural dynamic there, I think. We make each other laugh. Yeah. It's which not is forced. really good. And there's like a fucking um Well, we had yarned about it more like there's not that many fucking boy girl podcasts, yes. you know what I mean? We're a bike and a bird just talk. Talking dribble like ours is just like we're generally just talking shit chat, shit that's happened in the weekend, some stuff in the news, like personal stories where I feel like a lot of podcasts are like girls and guys talking about like best way to date or like how to approach someone. Like that is the furthest from what we're doing. Welcome to the roast of Louisa Dalton. The last people to say that were those two blokes in your dorm room at college, so I feel honoured. Lou's put on a beautiful pink dress for the roast. She said she wanted to be pretty in pink. I'd more just call you in pink. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that about two minutes ago. Crushed it. <laughs> Lou, people love reminiscing and saying things that remind them of their childhood. Is that why you've kept all your chins? <laughs> Lou reckons she's got thick skin. Weird, I just thought you were big boned. I wrote that one about two minutes ago as well. Oh, so you've just seen me today and thought, you know what? <laughs> Perfect. No, that is a good one I'll write down. I was down. thinking, you know, she's like, I've got thick skin, we'll be fine. And I was like, what can I do, thick skin? Just, I'm a comedian. Lou loves singing the song Tomorrow from the musical Annie. She actually flew, uh, flew to LA and auditioned tomorrow for Robin Williams. Coincidentally, it was the day he killed himself. <laughs> Lou really can't sing. She's clearly very tone deaf. Lou's so tone deaf that she tweets out of touch racist things. Because you're tone deaf, because you see, double entendre. <laughs> when you have to um, like <laughs> explain, explain the, the joke. joke, I don't feel like it's very good. <laughs> I'm kidding. You've got some support out there for your singing voice. In fact, a bloke came up to me the other day and he said, come on, she's not that bad a singer. I might also add, he told me that in fucking sign language. Lou decided, Lou decided to take up playing the drums when she was a child, but swiftly gave it up when she realised that the drumsticks weren't made of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Lou also claims that she got every award as a child and won everything. Let's be honest, the only thing you were awarded with as a child was type 2 diabetes. <laughs> as we all know, Lou has a deep love for Justin Bieber. There's no joke here. That's the roast. You're a fucking, you're an adult. Hey, Lou, why'd the chicken cross the road? Why? Because 20 years ago he saw you coming and didn't want to be devoured on the spot. <laughs> Fun fact, guys, when Lou shed all her childhood weight, Eddie Murphy actually used the excess skin for his suit in The Nutty Professor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Lou's been ghosted four times in a row recently. Oh. Where That's where the guy organises a date with you then just never shows. Once again, there's no joke here, Lou. That roast kind of just writes itself, doesn't it? <laughs> Lou reckons she's got a bit of a fatal attraction to the bad boys. Yeah, you know the traditional bad boy type. The copy-paste, white bread, eastern suburb, Sydney finance guy. Sheesh, Lou, ease up with these rebels, would you? <laughs> didn't one of them borrow their mum's Mercedes once without asking? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, didn't one of them get a Rolex that didn't quite fit, but he simply didn't give a fuck, so he just bought it anyway? Oh, what a rebel. Oh, man. Didn't one of them wear his tie too short in the office one day and all his mates named Regan noticed and called him out for being totally wacky? <laughs> Quit living on the edge with these guys, you crazy bitch. Hey, Lou, do you know how a knock-knock joke works? Yes. So I go, knock-knock. Who's there? Judge. Judge who? Judge who? Judge, the greatest roaster of all time. <laughs> hey, Lou, knock-knock. Who's there? Type 2 diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. You've probably got it. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Fuck, here we go. It's Lulu's time. Oh my god, Lulu's time to shine. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the roast of Jack Edward Archdale. 
you're hoping that the podcast will blow up and we make heaps of money because I know that you've been Googling chin implants and obviously <laughs> I want you to get a good surgeon. But until then, if you need any help folding towels, just let me know. <laughs> Anytime you get bad news, they don't say chin up to you purely because they can't. <laughs> You've changed your fashion sense four times since moving to Sydney. For a guy who claims to not care what he looks like, you've had four different fashion styles, including preppy eastern suburbs boy. Why don't we just call you an eclectic wanker and move on? <laughs> There's a good reason you wear RM Williams, and it's because you put the cunt in country. It's good. It's good. <laughs> we all know you're putting on a bogan accent, but it's just to hide the fact that you can't string a sentence together. <laughs> Dipshit. It's also a good thing you had acne at age 16 because it distracted everyone from your fucked up teeth. <laughs> when you're I a 16-year-old gamer, you thought you weren't getting laid because you didn't have a girlfriend. Mm. Now you're a 31-year-old gamer with a girlfriend and you've learned the real reason you're not getting laid is just because you're ugly. <laughs> you say that you snot in the streets and it's appropriate because you're from the farm, you're from the outback. No, you're just a fucking grub, mate. <laughs> Considering you can't spell Edward your middle name, your dad actually called me the other day and told me he was thinking of changing your name to Off. That's good. Jack Off. <laughs> I like it creative. Yeah, okay, thank you. You claim you love country music, but the only country you listen to is Keith Urban when he hits the top 40. <laughs> You've got two hot cop brothers. If someone tried to rob the pub, one of your brothers would have his knee on his head, the other one would have him handcuffed, and you'd be the grown man in the corner lip-syncing and doing a TikTok dance. <laughs> that's, that's nearly your best yet. You freak out at wooden cutlery and ice cream sticks touching your mouth. Yeah, that's fair enough you don't like wood in your mouth, but why didn't you tell any of the boys that on Mad Monday? <laughs> Wrecked. Oh, bad. Mic drop. Speaking of me... <laughs> Remember last week we were talking about how at my nonna, RIP, bless her soul, the kindest, sweetest nonna you've ever had, um, yeah. which is Italian for grandma. Yeah. And my nonna's funeral, we were saying that I, I, I like vividly remember there was something to do with KFC, like to keep me quiet and shut up. Dad, Franco, was like, we'll get KFC afterwards, we'll get KFC afterwards. And so I was telling After the funeral. After the funeral. Yep. And so I was telling mum how I was, I told that story on the podcast and she goes, oh no, the best part of the funeral was everyone's sitting around like really sombre, you know, like at a big table. Nonna's just passed away. She's, you know, the light of everyone's world at this point. And I'm five and I just stand up on a wooden chair and announce to 25 very, very sad Italians Nonna's dead. <laughs> Nonna's dead, everyone. And Jill and Franco are like yanking me down. Like, sit, sit. Sh Holy fuck. Sorry, everyone. Sorry about her. Nonna's dead, everyone. Like, what the fuck? I'll tell you what's happened there. The fuck, that is so funny. You've got your ultimate zinger box. You're full as a goog. You're happy as Larry. And then it's just like, well, everyone seems sombre and the intention isn't on me. How do I make it on me? I'm going to announce to the whole family. Something they already very, very well know. Some of them were probably the pallbearers. Nonna's dad. That's <laughs> sad. Like, but mum said my nonna, like, looked at me as if he wanted... Oh, your grandfather. Yeah, like, as if he wanted oh, he's to, just like, lost his wife of 60 years. Yeah. Yep. He wanted to smack me off that chair, basically. <laughs> Take a big whack back in those days, wouldn't it? Probably. Oh, yeah, because I was the size of a house. <laughs> Take, it took the whole entire 25 Italians to Correct get me to off get that you chair. Off the, get you off there. Especially post Zinger box. <laughs> yeah, correct. God. Holy dooly. That is truly, truly funny. Mm. I'm not surprised that that you're willing this yeah, that you're willing to get in front of a whole audience with such a horrendously shocking singing voice and sing a song because it seems to me it doesn't really matter if you're good or bad at it. Mm -mm. At lo as long as the attention is on Lulu, you're happy as Larry. As long as, your, as long as there's an audience, I'm available. You know you've got this syndrome where you go, if someone mentions something, you go, oh, I'm really good at that. And you know what made me um, realise that this is just a knee-jerk reaction for you? 
in the studio, the boys got a dartboard. <laughs> and I'm, look, I'm not great at darts, but I'm not bad. I reckon if I had five shots and you told me where to land a dart, I'd get three out of five. So not bad, not great. Above, so, above average. Above I'd average, say. yeah. Pro- yeah. Maybe average, above average. So I'm just throwing darts for a bit of fun. And Lou goes, oh, is that a dartboard? Oh, I'm really good at darts. She comes over, fucking yanks a dart out of my hand. I go, oh, oh, no worries, mate. Yeah, you have a go if you want. And she proceeds to completely miss everything. Did I even get it on, like, not even the circle? Like, did, even the no, board? no, you didn't get it on the circle. You didn't hit the dartboard. I think it, like, literally hit the wall. Yeah, correct. But that was my first go. You know, you've got to get three to warm up. But if you're, if you're really good at something... If you claim to be really, oh, I'm really good at darts, and you throw and you you miss everything and just hit the wall, <clears throat> I don't think two more is going to help but you. But don't you love my confidence? I do love it. It's never been knocked out of me. Yeah, I know. I think it needs to be a little bit, though. <laughs> I think I am a bit too confident. I reckon that's where I come in. Yeah. Yeah, good. I, yeah. Just a couple slowly, of wreckings each podcast. Slowly up. whittle you down until you're so self-conscious <laughs> that you're a shell of a human. I asked if I can do the podcast from my bed. <laughs> We were saying that it would be great if I um, ended up marrying a farmer from Walker. We do the podcast from Walker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd teach you a thing or two about the farms. Correct. You'd teach me farms. You'd be mustering and I'd go, mate, come on, this is how you grab the sheep and shear it. Yeah, that's traditionally when you're mustering, you're grabbing sheep and shearing them. Mustering's rouse housing, round housing. Rounding rounding them up. Yeah, rounding them up. Rounding them up. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll slowly but surely whittle you down to a point that you won't even want to come outside. Franco will probably love that because my whole entire life he's had this one saying for me. He's always gone, now, Lou, <coughs> timing. Timing is everything. Comedic timing. That's why that non was so great. <laughs> that was the perfect comedic time. <laughs> Seriously, he's like, you nailed it with that one, Lou. <laughs> You know, he's always said, because he, he knows that I, like, I mean, I don't mind, I don't need the attention on me all the time, but, like, I don't mind if it is on me. Let's put it that way. Yeah, okay. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's always said comedic timing, you know, time and a place for comedy, time and a place to jump in and say things. Yeah. But sometimes I find the most inappropriate times, you know, a lot of the times I just, I will, I'll say jokes because I know that I'll find it funny and I don't care. Yes. So, like. You like seeing people squirm almost. This is one of my favourite things to do. And I do it in front of new people all the, all the time and they, they go, this guy's having a fucking mental breakdown. But mm. I get so much pleasure from it. <laughs> so if I'm in like, it's not like a fully new group of people where mm. I don't know anyone. But say I'm with, say I'm with three, a group, three of my mates, and they've got two new friends and I haven't met them, you know what I mean? And we're at the pub drinking. And we're all talking and I'll go, you know what they say, boys? The better, t- the more um, fun you, uh, the better time you have if, if you ever get, and they're going, what the fuck? And I just, I say, and I go, <coughs> then I just let it sit and they go, this guy's just had a fucking breakdown. And I go, no, 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 you know what they say, the h- harder they get, the harder that you find, <laughs> and I pretend like I'm weak. <laughs> You know, I and was my mate's like, this cunt does this fucking thing all I the time. I was literally thinking, oh, fuck, I'll have to cut this bit and start from when he gets the joke. <laughs> I'm good at it. Yeah. I was like, oh, poor bloke, I'll cut it so they'll, he gets the joke but in. I love doing it because I love seeing them go like, I love seeing their reaction of going like, this bloke is fucking, he's about to faint. <laughs> he's having a breakdown. Oh, I feel like we have quite dark humour as well. Oh, yeah. And so Tor, my friend, who you know well as well, like her and I have very dark humour and we'll say things together and then sometimes we'll be around other people and we'll say things and people will be like, what the fuck? Yeah. You two can't say that and we'll go, oh, fuck, that's just like yeah. everyday vocab for yeah, us yeah, too. Yeah, you know what they say about that? What? The, fun, the more, the darker the, yeah, if you... <laughs> <laughs> Got me a bloody beauty. Got me a bloody beauty. <laughs> Got a separate microphone announcement for this. Okay. Announcement of 2023, Toby's dead. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to. I thought you were going to announce your um, performance this Friday. <laughs> no, my dog died. <sighs> Sorry, Lou. Toby's dead, Judge. Dead. You know how much I loved that corgi. I know. He was like a brother to me. He was a brother to me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He's dead. 
It's not, don't. It's not funny. I, that's just the Do way. You know, this reminds me of Nana's dead. Nana's dead. Nana's dead. So mum and dad, like, Franco's got no awareness of, like, what's appropriate. He just sends in our family group chat, like, no warning, just being like, we're at the vet now, like, it's time to say goodbye to Toby. And I'm like, what the actual fuck is going on? And then mum's just, then dad just sends a oh, video of Jill, like, hugging Toby, like, crying. Jesus. And then, like, sorry, I'm not laughing. Like, it, no, but it. I cried. Like, I bawled my eyes out. Like, yeah. I love that little fucker. Yeah. You see, every time I see a corgi, cool it'll be like Bondi Toby or like Full Clues Toby or like Paddington Toby. Um, but a few weeks, like a week later, they send you. It's not funny. It's not funny. Toby's dead, but he's in heaven. He had a great life. But they send you, the vet sends you um, his paw prints, like on a, on a like, <laughs> piece of paper. And it's like, Toby Delton. <laughs> Is that the funniest thing? Do you know what I mean? It's just like his little paw prints, Toby Delton. Yeah. It's like, we know how much you loved him. Like, RIP Toby Delton. And mum got him groomed the day before he had to be put down. Like, he looked gorgeous. Can I say something for nothing? Mm. I saw that photo that you you sent me the photo of, I think maybe you, your mum and your dad with yeah. him. Yeah. How old was he? Thirteen. He did. He he, he, he aged looked good. well. He did age. He looked well. like a puppy. Yeah, yeah. So like heaps of people were DMing me, being like, "Oh, you looked so young. Like I'm so sorry." I'm like, "What are you gonna no. do with the fucking paw prints?" Jill will probably frame them. I, I'm not even kidding you. She'll frame them. <laughs> she calls me the other day and she goes, "It's just lonely, you know. Like, I'll wake up in the middle of the night for a midnight snack, and Toby will come join me, or like someone will be like scuttering at the end of the bed, or she'll get home from work and like, you know, he's there running around. Like, it's just sad. You yeah." Know? Yeah, he was a part of her life for thirteen years and mine. Correct. It, it's it's um. R.I.P. Toby. <laughs> Toby's dead in heaven now. We loved you, Toby Delton. <laughs> Just practicing for Friday night. Yeah, fuck. You keep going. I might join Toby. <laughs> feel like it's nowadays like some people are still no how i word this it's like some kisses are still shit do you know what i mean some people can't kiss yeah yeah the, and you either but, got it or you don't but I, see i don't i reckon it's the how you both kiss you know how some people have like weird kind of like styles yeah or some people it doesn't like yeah i do match well with yeah i do I, I do know what you mean. Like, I'm kissing someone currently. <laughs> Fuck, what are you, six? What are you fucking, what are you, are you a teenager? Are you a teenager? <laughs> I'm kissing You're someone. You're an adult. You're 20 fucking nine. I just what mean. What is this shit? The person that I kissed the other weekend. Oh, God. Um, Phenomenal kisser. Yeah, right. But it's like you've got a good vibe with someone and then you know you kiss someone else and you kind of like, Oh, the tongue's a bit like you're a bit mouthy, a bit teethy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, not fun. yeah, 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 yeah. You can there can be some people that are way too tonguey. Yeah, to way too tonguey. Yeah, just and move you're like, it Can't all around. Back off. <laughs> just like deep throating their tongue down your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I know what you mean. But then there are people who are bloody. They're on the ball with it. Yeah, yeah. I love a good pash. Yeah, you you are like you you're like a a what? You're like a teenager. I'm not. You are, bruh. I'm a big rooter. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even convincing that coming out so of my mouth. That was so unnatural. That was so unnatural. Big rooter. That was so fucking no, unnatural. Oi. Everyone knows that padlock pants. On the topic though. On the topic though. Are we doing this? The dry spells out. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> it had been since July mm. 2022, and the dry spell is over. The drought is over. I, Louisa Claire Delden, had sex. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so sorry for, well, my mum already knows, I obviously told her, but sorry, Dad. Ha- if you're listening. I feel like that's a weird thing for my dad to be listening to the podcast and then now he just hears that. Go, Don't you reckon? Yeah, but, you know, 
It is what it is. You're an adult. No, I, I'm aware. You did a bit of I'm, sucking uh, no, and fucking loo. I mean, there's nothing judge, wrong with it. I'm aware that he knows that I'm sexually active. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm 29. But for him to just be innocently listening to the podcast and then hearing, hear ye, hear ye, I yeah. had sex for the first time in seven months. It's a proclamation you've made. Yeah. Yeah, like an announcement of you, of you yeah. getting banged, essentially. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. It's a banklamation. Yeah. So there you go, Dad. It's a it's a cocklamation. Okay. <laughs> what were you going to say when I said I told Jill? I've always found it odd how open birds are with their mums. Mate, I tell Jill everything. I don't tell my parents anything. Yeah, it's. I think it's different. Like my, I tell my mum everything. <laughs> but no, I'm very close with my mum, so yeah. she knew about the the drought. That is incredible. I could think of nothing worse than sitting down with my parents and being like. Dad's like, how you going, mate? I'm like, yeah, mate, I haven't had a fucking root for a while. <laughs> Mum would be like, oh, uh, oh, I think, does anyone want to tell you? That's not how I word it. <laughs> no, just, you went like this, you, you sat just, down with your mum and you went, how you going, Dilly? She said, hello, Lou, darling, how are you? Oh, mate, fucking lacking cock, my mum, and it's killing me, mate. Anyway, seven months it's in. If, Judge, I'm just, oh. she knows that I'm just padlock pants and... <coughs> I just hadn't for a while. Well, someone found the key to your padlock. That's a That's euphemism what we for vaginal say. and penal intercourse. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think we are well aware of that one. I reckon we're going to get a few DMs in the wee meme. I'll be like, congrats, Louie. Yeah. Proud of you, 100%. mate. Proud of you. <laughs> Our main guy just going out yeah. and getting it. Proud of you. Someone, I am proud of you. Thanks. It's a good thing, mate. Yeah, Rooted in 2023. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm in a four-year relationship, so I'm I'm nearly in the same drought as you are. True. <laughs> it's just I've been getting a lot of comments on my um if I upload an Instagram at the moment, being like, pretty good looking for a bloke. <laughs> <laughs> the bedwet is just roasting me. I love it. Hey, before we get into Perth, someone sent Lulu a care package. Jamie. A lady named Jamie. Jamie. This is like Christmas for me. And do you know why this is like Christmas for me? Because my co-host Jack said twice he was going to get me a Christmas present oh, and still fuck. hasn't. So sorry, thank you, Lulu. Jamie. Lulu gets to open her present. I organised this with Jamie, so this is technically from me too. Shut up. We were yarning. We were DMing. Oh, oh. oh, my, oh my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to cry. Don't cry. I'm actually going to cry. Oh, my God, Jack. What does it say? Wait, I've got to read the card. This is the best <laughs> present ever. That's a great present. <laughs> That's a Holy shit. Hello, ladies. Lou, here is your very own Kevin the Koala. Kevin is weighted for a calming effect and can also be heated. Check out Neptune website for his instructions. Not affiliated. Keep up the great work in 2023. Would love to hear two episodes a week. Love, Jamie. That is the sweetest thing of all time. Oh my God. Oh my Jamie's God. got no. a proper soft toy koala called Kevin. It's got a t shirt saying Bedwetters for Life on it. Shout out to the camera. This is the best day of my life. That is so fucking pissa. You're going to hate it. You can hate Kevin. I can't even describe him. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute and he's got a little t shirt. I love how you've gotten rid of all your teddies now. Now you've got the ultimate teddy. Oh my God. I can took, I have a look at Kevin? I took my teddy overseas. Did you notice that? Yeah, and I did notice that. When the cleaners would come into the room, they'd put Bonnie on the pillow. Yeah. The oh, my God, Bonnie. Jamie, I actually Fucking can't Bonnie. even describe how cute this is. Fucking hell, he's got that sand stuff in him. Oh, I'm getting rid of Bon. Oh, I don't feel like I can throw Bonnie out. But Jesus, Lou. You've, you've got to fuck Bonnie off. Josh is rolling up Kevin's sleeves. <laughs> get, get Kevin's guns out. Kevin looks, so dude, cute. Kevin looks fucking staunch with his sleeves rolled up. <laughs> Look at this guy. He looks like a big staunch gun. <coughs> That's great. He's so cute. Give him to me. You've had enough. No, I'm fragile. I need Kevin today. Okay, you can hold Kevin. All right. You're just talking. I'll just Thank you, Jamie. That is so kind. 
I can't even believe that. Okay, Jatsu's has got none eyes with Kevin. What would you guys like me to talk about then? Um, I could carry on talking about Thailand. I could talk more about the buffet. God, it was good. Seriously, eight-year-old Lulu was just back and forth, back and forth. And I ate really fast as well. Yeah, get out of here, Kevin. You come back to mine. You come to my room. No, he's, you're not doing anything with Kevin, thanks. Just sleeping with him. He, no, he's mine. He is. That is truly true. That's fucking tremendous. I can't. He's that's going. the kindest thing anyone's ever done for me. Thank you so much, Jamie. Um, Kevin will just sit here with Lulu today. Oh, I love you, Kevin, so much. I think that's what it feels like when you um, give birth and you first have a baby. <laughs> like you, you, this, you cannot <laughs> compare someone who's gone through nine months of Sorry. intense pregnancy. Sorry, I take it back. To getting a plush toy as a present. <laughs> so yeah, this is that's exactly. No, I just mean that like. I love him as much as I'd love a baby. Well, that is scary. Okay, I, I take it back. <laughs> that is, that's terrifying, yeah. I'm sorry, I take it back. But I love Kevin a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Gibby. And you can hate him. Uh, the best thing <laughs> is you can hate him His up. little bum is so fluffy and fat. Filled with seeds. It's, that's where you heat him up. You put him in the microwave. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah, you do. I don't want to put Kevin in the microwave. No, you take the fucking pack out, put the pack in, oh. and put it back in Kevin. Oh. You're not putting him in the microwave. <laughs> the whole just fucking... You wouldn't Imagining fit. me shoving Kevin in. It's Get in there, <laughs> mate. He just starts to melt. No, that you put the pack in, the oh heat pack. Oh, my God. This is actually the best day of my life. That's very fucking kind of Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. I love you so much. Well, what about this? Red light, green light. Don't, put the gun down. It's giving very... Dog! Red light, green light. D give it to me for the rest no. of the podcast. Give it... Time out. Give it here. Hand it over. That's bullshit. <laughs> Red light, green light. I don't like the way you look at me when I know you're going to say something. This is controversial, rogue. nasty, or weird. And I will point Insta my finger at you. Instagram in your food. Green. Only if it looks deliciously succulent Chinese meal. Fuck off. Stop doing it. No one gives a fuck. Disagree. I know for a fact if you opened your Instagram and there's a juicy beef ragu or a juicy delicious burger or a bowl of beef ice cream ragu. that you seem to love. Are you fucking serious? You would go, mm, yum, I'm hungry. Or if I sent you I'm an adult. If I sent you a photo of 12 delicious KFC Wicked Wings that are so crispy, you'd oh, go, bro. yum, I'm hungry. Miss me with that. Girls have really cooked this, thinking that anyone gives a fuck about what they eat. All we're thinking Tell is about, me. well, that's what they're shitting out later. <laughs> <laughs> what the actual fuck is wrong with you? That's it. That is not what you think that's when you see... That's what blokes think. Especially if birds has got this huge fucking meal. You're like, Jesus Christ, she'll be fucking... She'll be on the bowl for a while with that one. <laughs> You are so wrong there. No, I'm not. I can guarantee you, bedwetters, DM us or voice note, yeah. that people are going to see that and go, wow, that looks delicious, yum, and everyone's not thinking, that's coming out there, shitter. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, what? So you, what the, oh, she's having a big steak, and I what's happening tonight. Oh, there's corn in that. Whoa. Oh, chickpeas. A lot of chilli on that one. That's going to be rough for her in the morning. So crook. What? Like no one's thinking that but you. Yeah, well, I've spoken to blokes about it and they're like, yeah, bro, it's fucking pisser. That's what I've, other blokes think about it too. <laughs> Girls just have cooked it. I think that we all care that there's like fucking, they've got some salmon and shit or some sashimi. No, see, I think if you're out for dinner and it looks <sighs> delicious, go for it. If you're just like every night gramming, you're like shit salad, fuck off. Dude, it's just, I just find it the oddest phenomenon. It's one of the weirder things that our generation started doing was taking photos of food i Who love gives it a fuck because some people are foodies you're not a foodie you eat for fuel correct some people go out and go this pasta is going to be phenomenal <laughs> <laughs> i can't even deal with that is so uh, now every time i post a food judge is going well there's corn in that one <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> you are actually foul. <coughs> You're not thirty three. Yeah, just know that. You're not thirty three. All girls, when you know, when you start posting photos of food, just know that's what blokes are thinking. 
Just for future reference. You're an oh. odd unit. Yeah. Hey, so are you. Yeah. Just know that. Yeah. So bedwetters for life, dog. Bedwetters for life, mate. <laughs> I had a funny story for you. Yeah. So, I don't know if you saw on my Instagram the other day, I posted being like, there's, there's construction going on across the road. Yep. And... My window is right at the front of the apartment block. So, like, the guys who are doing the construction sitting in the cranes mm-hmm. look straight into my room. Yep. And so I posted – I was like, I walk around naked all the time. Like, my housemate goes to work. No, I know. I mean, that tree outside. Remember I, I got those new binoculars? That's right. I thought I saw you. I waved the other yeah, day. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it was nice of you to pop over. I couldn't wave. Back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sir. laughs> I got that one. <laughs> I picked up on that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, so I posted being like, cool, I just um, was wandering around naked around my room and then I locked eyes with the man in the crane. They like fully look no. up. They look up. Like when I'm picking out what to wear from my wardrobe, yeah. I'm standing there naked. There's like guys on the ground. Like <laughs> yeah. They look up, like they see me. I know that I've walked past and look up. And then I saw the guy in the crane. Anyway, locked eyes with him. Go about my day. I don't really think much of it. And they get this DM. No. No. <laughs> It's the guy from the crane. No. And he goes, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he said something like, hey, Lou, like just letting you know, um, I can't see anything. We didn't lock eyes. Like you're all good. Um, you clearly did. And then he said, the tree covers your room. Like keep doing your thing. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Keep, yeah, no, don't worry. I can't see nothing. Uh, don't worry, darling. Nothing I can see, so um, just keep walking around naked. I just Holy honestly pissed myself. Fuck, dude. Oh, like, I can definitely see down and see him, and I know that Wait, the people- hold pe- on. He's I'm, in a crane. Well, because it's still like my apartment's above. Oh, yeah, okay. But the people in, down on the road, there is no doubt in my mind that I'm standing there getting changed, and they can see straight up. Why don't you and close then- your fucking blinds? <sighs> You're an exhibitionist. <laughs> I just, I like the light in my room. I'm not going to close the blinds the so entire that, so day. That, what, so a, a, a couple walking their six-year-olds to the preschool, or the three-year-olds to the preschool next to your house, don't see you. Yeah, you well, don't close your blinds for Mate, that. I'm naked for like 30 seconds trying to pick what to wear. I love that this bloke's like, clearly like, this is the bloody best part and of my day. But deep. I better, once you've locked eyes, you bet, oh, fuck, oh, I don't want this to end. Don't worry, darling. Can't say nothing. Um, just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> he DM'd me. He was like, I hope this doesn't sound creepy. Like, I think you're hilarious. Like, ready, rah. <laughs> Did he say, I think you're hilarious, especially when naked? <laughs> <laughs> but he gave off genuine nice vibes. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like a creepy, like, I'm in the crane doing other things. But no, I, crane can the jank. But it's, it's just, I don't, I don't know if the tree covers it. The tree day. If he can, if he can discern that he's locked eyes with you, and also, how would he know which room's mine? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Lou. Oh, right. He's sending you a DM, right. basically being like, "Don't worry, mate. Tree covers I, you. I, I, I don't even know if you're naked or not, but the tree covers you, so you must be. I'm just assuming that you're fucking naked. So just keep doing what you're doing and don't change yeah. a thing. AKA, please let me keep watching you naked. <laughs> Dude, that is fucking wild. Isn't it funny though, right? I just get this DM request and I'm like, what is going on here? That is fucking... So you're not going to change your ways. So old mate's getting a show irrespective of what's well, going I on. I just like, why should I have to change how I live my life? For a couple of tradies on the road. <laughs> and also, but aren't you like... It's not like they're taking photos of me. <laughs> they could be. Correct. Sorry. Perhaps I'll put the blind. Have you got eyes on at all times? They do. But it's it's not like I'm standing in my room just like, right, just watching. Well, what is it? It's it's when I go to pick my clothes from my wardrobe, I'll stand there naked like trying on different things. Oh, so for ages. <laughs> if I've learned one thing about girls no. getting ready is that ch- trying on different outfits no. isn't exactly a speedy process. No. It's not like I'm just standing there like fully naked. I'm there like. Naked then with a bit item of clothing also, on. I'm probably further away enough that they can't really like see much. Mate, he's DM'd you. Being like, don't change a thing. The me and the boys are getting a free show. You're making him sound creepy. No, no, no. I, this is more on you. 
because... Oh, you're more concerned that I'm not putting on clothes now. Well... Well, it's not like I walk around the house all day, every day naked. Like, you have like, said you uh, you like to walk around naked. Oh, though. it's just if I have a shower, I might like pop to the kitchen and grab something and yeah. walk back to my room. Get your Uber Eats from the guy outside. You know what I mean? Wander down to the litter box. Yeah, get the mail. Go to the Woolies. Correct. Buy your groceries. <laughs> go to the post office. Head to the head to the get your mail. Get to the go to the beach. Get my hair done. Get your hair done. Head to the studio. Do a podcast. And then me, Tobbs, and Dior have to physically dress you. It's becoming a real issue. It's like dealing with a fucking toddler. And we're What's sick of that, it. Um nude beach around the east? Lady Jane's? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I actually don't know. I think there is one. Is there? Yeah. Would you would you nude beach it? No, I no. Neither. I just like I just like each to their own. Like, yeah, no, love, rock and roll, mate. That's what I mean. I would love the confidence to do it. I just wouldn't be confident enough. But you'll stand in the window for forty five minutes. It's my own room. To a fucking to a to a, a crowd You're of trains. Like I'm doing a performance for them, it, guys. I've practiced this dance. Honestly, it sounds like one of those European... Yeah, you're doing your TikTok dances. Guys, what do you think of this one? I'm a savage. <laughs> Definitely ratchet. But it sounds like one of those European peep shows where you put like a dollar in, put like a dollar in, a euro into the slot. It goes... And then the curtains over. It's just this chick like dancing behind a window naked. Except they don't have to pay a dollar. Right. <clears throat> Welcome to the roast. The big dog LDD welcomes in Jack Edward Archdale to the arena. Mm-hmm. For the one, the only 2023 roast of Jack Edward Archdale. Yep. <clears throat> I actually heard that your mum was upset to only have three sons. Oh, that's before you became a teenager and turned into the little bitch she always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you were pretty nervous before your first fight with a UFC fighter. So didn't you get drunk alone and then pretended you had a massive weekend with the boys? <laughs> you know what? Hot will is what you'd look like if you didn't have a drinking problem. That's good. <laughs> That's pure accuracy. <laughs> you egged me on for weeks about doing a live performance, but your plan all along was to get a crowd there so that you could perform Wagon Wheel without having to ask them to show up. <laughs> you said that you and Steph liked to have a board game night together. Judging by the size of your tiny dick, board <laughs> nights are the only thing you can offer her. <laughs> Yeah. Wreck. Yep. You always wreck me about being a fat eight-year-old. At least I lost the weight. You still haven't lost the ability to read any better than an eight-year-old level. <laughs> the only reason you look so good in Speed Dealers is because we can't see your fucked up beetle-looking eyes. <laughs> So sorry, that's me. That's good shit. The only times I'm more sad about Bieber cancelling his Aussie show is every week when I know I have to sit opposite you and record a podcast for an hour. Who? Senorita. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're so well known for being a big social media star that when you get blind drunk at the pub, you accidentally take a photo with a fan in the bathroom, only it's you in the mirror telling yourself how funny you are. <laughs> I heard your bull riding matches your performance in the bedroom, Mr. Ten Seconds. I <laughs> there you go, I'll take that one. You say you're not drinking every week, but then it hits Friday and Saturday. Shock horror, you're drunk on whiskey again. Is that because it's too whiskey to show anyone your real sober personality? Because without a drink, you're a one out of ten? That's good stuff. You're lucky it's me roasting you because if it was Pinocchio, his nose wouldn't have moved in the last five minutes. <laughs> nice. Steph told me she actually doesn't like men with facial hair, but she knows how shit you'd look without a beard. That's the only reason she gillettes you keep it. <laughs> <laughs> You've got so many tattoos, but makes sense because the saying goes that you don't put stickers on a Rolls Royce. All your tats make it pretty clear you're working with a Honda Civic. <laughs> nice, dude. You know how I can tell you drive a Tiguan? Yeah. Just by looking at you. Because all Volkswagen drivers are cunts. <laughs> <laughs> I know you'll rip me about Kevin, my koala soft toy. But, mate, I texted your girlfriend to ask for intel. She said you sleep with your knees up. What the fuck? <laughs> you get really bad road rage. But I would, too, if Mummy and Daddy had never taught me to drive in the big scary city. <laughs> And I got scared that anyone driving remotely near me was on my side of the road, dickhead. 
Yeah. You know, this is the only time you'll be roasted. No one would ever actually cook you because your bony ass chicken legs are fucking worthless and wouldn't keep anyone nourished. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to say, congratulations on the movie. I loved you as Sloth in the Ice Age. <laughs> yeah. It's a step up. Thank you. That's a step up. Oh, it's Lulu's time. Okay, Wish I had Kevin here to look after me. Um, yeah, you don't, and you will need him. Oh, shit. All right. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the roast of Lou. Number two. <clears throat> Smart, beautiful and funny. She can act, she can dance and she can sing. But enough about Millie Ford. We're here to roast this dickhead. Speaking of Millie, you guys have a great mutually beneficial relationship because when you do your videos together, you get to utilise Millie's millions of followers. And Millie gets to utilise your, um, your, uh... She get, um... No, 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 it's mutually beneficial because when you do vids together... You get to utilise Millie's brilliant comedy acting, and she gets to utilise your um, your. Fuck you. <laughs> Lou always claims how hard she works, and needs it to be known she's a hard worker. Frankly, calling Lou a hard worker is the same as calling Lizzo an Olympic sprinter. Lou, you're the parking ranger of podcasting. Knock knock. Who's there? Cannabis. Cannabis who? Can a bus transport eight-year-old Lou from point A to point B? Nah, she needed fucking air freight. Nah, I'm kidding, Lou, you're a babe. Seriously, no, you are a babe. And by babe, I mean a pig in the city. I'm roasting you so bad right now, you're becoming one of the chickens you devour whole. One of Lou's dreams is to be on Home and Away. The casting director actually sent me their requirements uh, for actors to get on the show. He said, we're looking for hot dead shits that can barely act, so Lou... You got a real shot. (laughs) Hey, Lou, I know I'm a chinless cunt, so can I borrow one of yours? I'll write a poem for you. Can I? Would you mind if I read it? Please, go on. There once was a girl named Louisa, often described as a diva. She'll stamp her feet when she is beat, but console herself with daddy's visa. Lou's Rolex is currently in the shop getting fixed. You know what I would have fixed before that Rolex if I were you, Lou? Your entire fucking personality. (laughs) (laughs) Lou's terrified of being cancelled. Ironically, Lou, if you ever do get a TV show, that's exactly what you're going to fucking be. (laughs) Cancelled. Knock, knock. Who's there? A big zoo. A big zoo. Yeah, you're dead right. A big zoo is exactly what what was needed to contain you as a child. (laughs) Hey, Lou, you know how they say great minds think alike? Well, you and Simple Jack from Tropic Thunder sure must have great minds. Now, I know my girlfriend, Steph has colluded with you behind my back to provide you f- with fuel mm-hmm. for your roast. But see, Lou, that's the difference between me and you. I don't need external help, mate. And to finish, I'm going to lay out three reasons why you won't win, even with Steph's help. Number one, Steph hadn't been over the north side of the bridge before she met me, so like you, her knowledge is limited to restaurants in Double Bay. Number two, you two planning and scheming together is the literal embodiment of the movie Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> Although it is tough to tell which is which. And number three, I didn't even need a number three because I've smoked you so fucking hard in this row, so I didn't even write one. I've left it blank. So great try, kid. But you stick to the Gherkin reviews, bloke, and I I think I'll stick to the comedy. Cheers. We are going to have a go at a new segment idea. Yeah. Which this could be an absolute disaster. Correct. It might be cut. You might never hear this. Correct. It's basically one of the listeners actually (coughs) sent it in. It's... um. Poorly described movie plot game. So basically, we'll tell you guys what movie we're about to describe and then either of us will have to guess it. So we'll take turns. Um, Okay, so there's like this chick and then she lives with her mum and then she finds out something from like this older woman that like might potentially change her entire life. So then she's like flowing. So then like everyone at her school like finds out that she potentially might be this like crazy wild kind of thing and then the grandma comes and tries to like teach her all these sort of things so that she can become this like crazy really like big thing that she like doesn't really want to be but she's 
probably going to have to be it because it's like almost in her like blood now. And then like everyone at school kind of like teases her and then she has this like epic makeover and becomes like really hot and then um, she goes to where the place is that she might have to like live and be like maybe in charge of um, and then she like meets a guy and they live like happily ever after and then she becomes like something like pretty special and like there's not many of them in the world and she like runs this small like place basically <laughs> <laughs> fuck me a woman was the lead of a movie <laughs> Jack Edward Arsh <laughs> yeah what <laughs> um, I'll give you a hint Okay It's a Disney film I fucking knew it was Fucking Fucking Moana Would you know if I see one of the actresses? Cinderella Close-ish But not that old If I gave you the actress would that help maybe? Anne Hathaway Oh, fuck. Fuck me. What the fuck's he in? Heaps. No, but what, Disney? Very old. Well, old for her. You want me to give you a word? Yeah. Princess. Oh, fuck me. Of course it's about a princess. <laughs> That's obvious. <laughs> I don't fucking... You would have seen... Steph would have seen the movie. Well, is fucking Steph sitting in this chair? Or is it me? Well, you know, I so far this game's one to Lulu. Zero to Josh. Hold on. Fucking Snow White. Everyone knows this movie, Jack. Snow White. No, it's not Snow White. I'm going to have to tell you. You yeah. don't know it. The Princess Diaries. The fuck? If when the fuck Tom. would I watch The Princess <laughs> fucking Diaries, Lou? Tobbs, Dior. Hey. Have you seen it? Get fucked. There you go. I there you go. I've ne- you would have Lou, heard of the of Princess all Diaries. The fucking movies you could have chosen. You chose the Princess Maybe Diaries. Maybe I hadn't seen Happy Gilmore. Everyone has seen Everyone's seen Princess Diaries, mate. No, every yes, little girl has pole, seen Poll, pr- poll for the bedwetters. Have you seen the Princess Diaries? Dude, you could have chosen Taken, Lord of the... Like, some of the biggest franchises. Well, my other movie was Inside Man. Would you have got that? No, because you don't watch movies. So, fuck you. I watch <laughs> the princess fucking... Fucking... Do- That's the worst oh, one. Oh, Happy Gilmore, so original. Fuck you. You got it. You yeah, got it, Lou. Because I'm good. No. Because I'm everyone's really good at it. the movie plot game. Are you? Especially when I started saying, he's really happy. He's very happy. Well, I had to literally tell you the fucking movie. Because Princess, no one's seen pr- The Princess Diaries. Everyone has seen The Princess Diaries. Fuck me swinging. I can't believe you've chosen that movie. Where, 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 Sorry. When what? would I have watched that? Probably with Steph. I've known her for four years. So you've probably watched The Princess Diaries. What, from 29? Yes. Are you fucked in the head? I watched The Princess Diaries like four weeks ago. It probably, it's a good movie. It probably has some nostalgic value for you or something. To me, that's nothing. Why? Because you probably watched it as a kid. Oh, I thought you were saying because I was a princess. <laughs> you are a fucking princess. I, that's, but I mean, that's a that's a, de- that's that's a, a derogatory. That's a derogatory term. Yep. I made it in the derogatory You're way. You're a little fucking chipmunk. <laughs> Do you know what I love about your insults? Is I can see what you think I look at at the time and then you go for it like a new t- a ch- a chipmunk, a fucking rat, a weasel. It's literally always some sort of a fucking little mouse thing. Anyway, what what a shock. I liked the game though. Did I liked you? it too, but Lou. Fine, next time do thrillers for Jan. No, not thrillers. Do horrors. Maybe just d- do dramas, do well known movies. Y- yeah, the last one. I'm sorry, but the prince. Let me check the rating on IMBD. What the fuck does that have to do? I'm what? IMBD. Oh, fucking IMDB, <laughs> whatever the fuck it is. Um, yeah. Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, fuck them. Um, mate, that was a shocker from you. No, it wasn't. Princess Diaries, absolute shocker from oh, you. Oh, I was about to, I won't tell you what the rating is. What's the rating? Anyway. What's, no, the, rating? Done, done. What's the rating? 
What was the rating on there? 49%. Oh, fuck, that's all right. Half people liked it. Yeah. But you, 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 you just... Everyone at home would have got that. I'll give you the hot tip. No, they wouldn't have. No, they wouldn't have. They fucking, would have. Fuck, that's blowing my mind. Do you have like a train voice or like a doctor's surgery voice? When people call, when people call you... Oh yeah, I've got. I've just got a full blown phone voice. Do ya? Yeah, I'll go. Run me through it. Hello, Louisa speaking. G'day, Lou. How you going? Good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> no, you don't. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, yeah, no, really good. Hey, what's um going on this weekend? Um, not sure. I think uh, I've got the netball, and then yeah, probably just a few quiet ones. What about you? I think you do have this. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, nothing. I'm just chilling out. I think probably won't drink. I'm about to win a hundred bucks off a real sucker. Oh, really? I feel like you'll probably be blind drunk, but I don't know. Each to their own. It's a lot higher than your normal. I voice. know. It's really like sweet and cute and innocent. Yeah, it's deceptive because of who you <laughs> who are. I am. Yeah, as a person. Yeah. That's right. Because I was t- I was thinking about it the other day. But you would have a good day, Jack. Here. No, I just get. I get like super conscious of being on phone calls, like on, and it, I just sound like the weirdest cunt. So I'll be like, I'll take a phone, phone call, like on the train or something. Like dad'll, dad'll call me. He's like, "G'day, mate, how you going?" I'm like, "Yeah, good, mate. What are you, what are you doing?" He's like, "Nothing." And I'm like, "Yeah, right." He's like, "Everything all good?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm just on the train." Like as if it's illegal to have a phone conversation. But I just have seen people. Probably like Lou Bedwitters, let's be real. On the train being like, yeah, fucking oh, like I'm just, I can think we're all going to go out. Wait, Brenda, are we going? Yeah, we're going to meet you there. I'm like, oh, shut the fuck up. Well, so I'm so conscious of it that I'm just, I become this psycho. It's like this monotone. Yeah, mate. You know, it was the best birthday. See, I'm ever just had. more like. No, I love, yeah, I do love my mum. If Pardon? I'm somewhere what? in the east. Yeah. Did they die? Oh, okay, sweet. <laughs> if I'm somewhere in the east, I'll be very conscious of what I'm saying because I'll know that there's a lot of people around who you might know. Like if I'm at the beach. For bedwetters who don't know, Louisa lives in the eastern suburbs of Sydney, which she rarely mentions. <laughs> Get <laughs> fucked. I just mean that everyone knows everyone. So oh, you everyone, knows too loud. everyone knows Lou in the east. No, I don't mean they know me. I mean, I could be saying someone's name and people would know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. Oh, shut up. But you know, you're lying at the beach and you're like close to people. If you're on your phone on your earpods, then I might be like a bit quiet and cautious. Yeah. Well, I'm, um, yeah. So you, you're acting as if you've like murdered someone. On I become train. a serial killer. Yeah, you're like, yeah. They'd be like, this guy's weird. You'd be like, yeah, yeah, it's coming. Mm-hmm, Go down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. doesn't matter what I've They're been in the told. trunk. Yeah, they're in the trunk. Wait, you've just had a baby. Congratulations. It's really exciting. Oh, really? You've just, you're engaged. He dropped the knee. Yeah, cool. Yeah, Congratulations. <laughs> yeah cool. It's really good. Absolutely. Like a, in a doctor's surgery, you know, it's really quiet in a doctor's surgery. Grandma's dead. Okay, yeah, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Nonna's dead. Okay, right. Cool. Tell Lou to um, get up and sing a song for the family. That'll, um, <laughs> that'll really quell the sadness. Oh, yeah, okay. Our nanny's dead. Cool. Chuck two-year-old Lou on the end. Uh, get her to <laughs> sing a song. Thanks. Thanks so much. Sorry, I just won sixteen million. Okay, perfect. Well, when will that be um, put in my account? All right, thanks, mate. Cheers, I appreciate it. Cool, awesome. Is that tax free? Sweet. <laughs> cool, cool. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Wait, um, there's a warrant out for my arrest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fine. Okay, I'll see you at the closest police station, Waverley. All right, sweet. Thanks, mate. I'll talk to you later. Oh, Waverley. Do you live around the east? Who knows Eat where? Shit. Wait, who, who knows? Eat if people shit. from Perth are listening, listening, who would know? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I misspoke. Oh. oh, you know how you've lost an argument oh. when you start doing that. Oh, you start dissing how I talk. I misspoke, Lou. Oh, oh people my in Perth God. don't know where Waverly is. Oh shit, Dumbo's arrived. He's flown in on his fucking ears. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think I got good ears. Tuck nah, him. Yeah, tuck him. Do you want to see how fucked it is? <laughs> Untuck him. Untuck him immediately. Untuck him immediately. Why? Why does it just make it look so wrong? Because my head's small. 
It is very slim. I've got a I've got a thin head. I'd prefer your head than my moon face, though. Oh no, you don't. No, you don't. I would. No, you don't. You don't have a moon face. I've got a big round face. Dude, you're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not. <laughs> you got to be. Don't be mean about yourself. No, I don't. It's just like you look great with the ears out now. Thanks, Lou. You don't look like Dumbo. Dumbo. That you just I was just before. being mean. Yeah. Okay. It's just retaliation, you know, <laughs> back and forth. You don't look like dumb, though. Things went east real quick. Sorry, south, real quick. <laughs> Do you know what I mixed up last night when I went to the pictures? We need to have an intervention just here one moment. Why? You're not 900. What? You're not from the 1900s. <laughs> You're not 90 years old. You don't need to call it the pictures. That's what we, that's what we call it growing up. We're going to the pictures. You're going to the movies, you're going to the cinema. The pictures? You sound like my fucking dead nonna. You look like her this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Don't speak ill, Ill, Ill of the dead. <laughs> Piece of shit. Got now jachi has got to do his little gummy oh, bear. So bugger. this is... Lil Nitro, the world's hottest gummy bear. I'm actually slightly nervous for this. Apparently, fizzy drink also helps. Uh, now, Jarchi, I'm being serious when I say I just want you to take a little bite. Yeah. Okay? You yeah. filming, Dior? I'm gonna, I hate I'm gonna shit. sniff him. Oh, yeah, he's potent. Please just do a little bite. Like, he's fucking spicy. Why would they make. Has he got a cock? <laughs> What's he got there? I don't... I, I, Just a baby bite for Jarchi. Fuck, I hate this shit. Little nibble. Otherwise you won't be able to go to work and sell all those wonderful billboards. He's doing it. He's chewing? How much did you have? Oh, yeah, good boy. Oh. Is it spicy? <coughs> Shit. Uh oh, this is more a visual thing for everyone. Oh, holy fuck, dude, that's got some fucking kick to it. He's gonna cry. He's gonna cry. Look how much I took. Yeah, imagine eating the whole fucking thing. Fuck me. He's just had an ear, and he's like about to pass out. You, Josh, you want some fizzy drink? Yep. He's actually gonna cry. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, mate. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Oh, uh, come on there. <coughs> oh, uh, oh, my days. You're going quite red. <laughs> it's fucking hot, dude. And uh. he had a bite of the ear. Wow. Poor Jachi. Oh. What does it feel like? What do you fucking reckon? All my days. <laughs> <coughs> Holy cunt. This is amazing. <sighs> Lucky we did this at the end of the podcast. Oh, I just spilled water on me. Poor senorita. Wow. You should have a nibble. Nah. <laughs> You okay? <coughs> yep. You sure? Yeah, it's fucking hot. Okay. <sighs> don't, don't, Jack. <laughs> He's redeeming the chiller. Holy Mate, that's fucked up for it. Is it cut slowing down? It's sort of. Okay, spilling this on me. Look. Is it slowing down? Yeah. A hotness? Yep. It's gone a little bit. No, not really. Because you know, sometimes what happens is it like gets hotter and hotter. <laughs> Well, you know, I've got a bit of PTSD from this when I had to throw the bloody ice on and milk on my old breakfast radio host. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> that's you, sir. Okay, that's it. <sighs> that's you's done. Once I made up, once I was so hungover from a, um, so hungover from a Bucks party, I'd got up early and left. And the only way I could stay awake was to make up a, a rap I made up a, like a full rap in the car and I just played this beat and then just repeated the rap for four, do you remember it? yeah for four hours please do it for us 
But I'd need to play the beat like through the microphones and then do it. You want to do that? I could try. Okay. <laughs> like I made up a full thing. Have we gone too far on the raps this, this podcast perhaps? Well, we can try it. We'll try it. Okay. All right. You ready to hear this rap that I made up? I wonder if that'll... Do you reckon that's all right? Yeah? Okay, you ready for it? Yeah. This is what I made up in a car trip. Ah, man, I feel sick like a motherfucking patient And I'm dancing round these lyrics like a motherfucking geisha Ah, sipping whiskey, bitch, no motherfucking chaser Hot bitch in the pub and I'm a motherfucking Ah, jarching this bitch and I'm really gonna drop shit Squashing cunts like a villain in a mosh pit No one beating me on any given topic Hawaiian shirt, yeah I'm chilling in the tropics Back to this, yeah I'm back to this Dropped off now, I am the catalyst I got analysts who are tracking this Told me that I'm more dope than a smacked up bitch Ah, uh, cold motherfucker, think I need a hot soup One punch, yeah it's really gonna drop you I tag a new yeah I'm really gonna stop you Bitch is slipping over every time I pop through I'm pretty bad man, placed in a clinic cause I am a madman Said nah I'm ex, so I'm pretty sad man, I love clubbing Now they call me Bam Bam, back on this chorus Like a motherfucking singer, yeah Tough as a Taurus on a motherfucking pinger, yeah KFC, bitch, I'm a motherfucking zinger, yeah Speak another language, but it's motherfucking Klingon, ah I'm nerdy bruh only what like titties the at the perky, bruh. Big and round, yeah, like I'm circular. You're a weird cunt, guarantee I'm quirkier. Ah, uh, 29 and I'm still making raps too. Plenty fine birds in the line to tap too. Getting mine, yeah, I'm stacking plenty stacks too. Couple wines, couple jewels and a tattoo. Ah, uh, that's what my night looks like. Look at your face, what a fight looks like. Put in your place like a lighthouse light. I flick the switch and put your lights out. Night, ah, uh, I'm ruthless, bruh. Fuck around and I'll leave you toothless, bruh. You're a dumb cunt, but you a stupid, ah. Uh. You're full of gas, you cunt, I'll call you Jupiter. Woo! Sorry, <laughs> I'm in the same room as Scribe. <laughs> that was Scribe. amazing. Scri- I was just so hung and I was just on the thing a whole time. How did you remember that? I just did it over and over and over again. So you just played the song and was like, right. Yep. Over and over. That's really impressive, Judge. Thanks, Lily. My theory is that Pitbull is the greatest lyrical genius of all time. Well, you're a fucking idiot. It's true. Run me through that. Every day above ground. Oh, hang on. Okay. Now you've nailed this one. What's that? Everybody going through tough times. Believe me, been there, done that. Was that your example? Genius. I know my rent was going to be late about a week ago. I worked my ass off, but I still Pitbull? can't pay it. Though. It's it's a duet. I think that part might be Neo. That is Neo. But Mr. Worldwide, you've got some great songs. Doesn't mean he's a lyrical genius. I'd go to Mr. Worldwide live. Pitbull is not. He'd a, be phenomenal live. Are you just fucking. He's a great lyrical genius. Can't. Oh fucking. He's a. He's not. He's got some good lyrics, dude. What made you think about Pitbull? I thought about him last night. I made a TikTok oh, about it. Oh, private time. Two hundred fifty thousand people agreed with me. What? That Pitbull's a lyrical genius. No, no. Two hundred thousand people watched it. Well, it got twenty-four thousand likes. 24,000 people agree with me. Eat shit, Judge. Yeah, you know, Lou, there's a lot of fucking dickheads in the world, right? Okay? You being one of them and your little pit bull crew. Pitbull is not a lyrical genius. He's pit got bull, some bangers. Pitbull, I would argue, is probably... He's got some great songs. Not, He's probably half intelligent because he jumped on a trend and just sucked it for all he just sapped it for all he could i think naming himself mr worldwide was very smart why we at the hotel motel holiday inn why was naming himself mr worldwide very Well, now he appeals to the whole world yeah in 2015 lou it's 2020 what it's 2023 (laughs) some some trends don't fade Pitbull's pe- faded pe- a bit. No, Pitbull's on, on the rise. Do you watch TikTok, mate? Pitbull's on the fucking rise. Pitbull, was Pitbull get- is on the rise. Hey, listen, Lou, I'll tell you what doesn't make for great listening. When I start to talk, you scream over well, me. It's because my opinion's right, you're wrong. Oh, yeah. Um, now, <laughs> Pitbull, about 
fucking five years ago. Went to tour. I'm talking. I'm just well, I'm talking. my eyes. Went to tour Australia. Didn't sell enough tickets. Had to can it. Pitbull's done, kid. It's over for Pit. Pitbull is trending on the FYP on TikTok. Is he? Yes, Pit- big Are time. you telling me Pitbull's back? Trust me. I'm not mad at Pitbull. The back. bull is back. The bull's back. The bull is <laughs> fucking back. Mr. Worldwide is world domination. Round two. He's doing motivational podcast, Yarch. Oh, I kid. Yeah, Pitbull's fell off. No, Pitbull's back. <laughs> Pitbull's doing motivational podcast. If Pitbull pod- walked into an office, would you I've be, met him. Would you be friends with him straight away? And I've met him and I said, I said, sup, Pit? And he said, well, sub bull. Yeah, he was like, I wish. That would have been cool. I love the glasses he wears. He rocks a bald head too. Yeah. He started the bald trend. I'm not against Pitbull. Well, I feel like you are. I'm not. But I also don't think he's a lyrical genius. I can't back that. Who would you say is? Kendrick Lamar. Bieber? Yes. No. Buddy, yes. I think you're confused about generic hit makers and lyrical geniuses. Tupac and Biggie Smalls. Yep. Now we're on the fucking now. We're cooking with a bit of gas here. Who else? T Pain. I'm gonna buy you a drink. Oh, well, I actually love T Pain personally. I'm gonna buy you a drink. No, stop it. Now, fifty you know, cent. Love fifty. The Beatles. I love the, the Beatles. The Bee Gees. Love the Bee Gees. Do it alphabetically. <laughs> 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 Who else? Uh. Katy Perry? Nah. 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 Like, do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting in the wind? That's one of her lyrics. Yeah, see, buddy. I've never felt like a plastic bag drifting in the wind. You've never been light enough. <laughs> <laughs> Have I told the yarn how I pissed a plane? No. Have I not told this yarn? Elaborate. Bedwetters, I've pissed a plane. You just stood up and swung your cock around and pissed everywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you what, there were some very unhappy customers. <laughs> but in the, in the upside, LA prisons, not bad. <laughs> um, no, I, was, I can't sleep on planes. I'm a bad sleeper as it is. Planes, can't sleep. Flying over to America. Mm. Feth gives me a couple of bloody, either Xanax or Valium. I'm pretty sure that was Xanax. And she goes... Drill one of these, have a couple of drinks, you, you'll kip. And I go, okie doke. Now, if three nighttime cold and flus are making this man piss the bed, a Zanny bar and six whiskeys, probably not the best idea. Didn't know this at the time. So <laughs> I'm there and I zonk. It fucking drills me for like eight hours. Now, this wasn't a huge piss, like a holy fuck, I've pissed everywhere. But I woke up and I'm like, holy fuck, what the fuck is going on? I'm like a little hungover, or, or, you know what I mean? Mm. And I'm like, holy dooly, everything's dark, everyone's asleep. I'm wearing grey trackies. Okay. I've got grey trackies on. I'm on the window seat. There's two people next to me, both sound asleep. And I go, <laughs> I've pissed the plane. I've checked down there and I've looked. It's a, It's a... Let's say that much. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's about enough, a pancake size. It's of piss. enough to know you've pissed. It's enough to it's know you've pissed. It's a pikelet. It's a pikelet. It's a pikelet of piss. It's a pikelet of piss. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. a piss pikelet. It's I've got a piss, piss pikelet. pikelet on my okay. great trackies. So that's not like a, oh, I've spilt my water. Like, you've pissed yourself. Oh, yeah. It's a piss pikelet. Yeah. Okay. It's a piss pikelet. It's a pissy pike. Now, I go, holy dooly. Everyone's sound asleep. I'm I'm now wide awake. You've got a double P. I've got to actually, I've got to, I've got to. If I, that's a piss parklet. You got a pee pee. Okay. I got to go and get the rest of it out. I had to tactically climb oh, over the seat. Honestly, if someone was to wake up, that if the bird in the middle would have woken up, there would have been a piss parklet 20 centimetres from her face as I climbed over. And I would have to say, nothing to worry about. It's just a piss parklet. Move on. Don't alarm the cops. It's just a pee pee. It's, it's just a piss parklet. It's just a pee pee. It's just a double pee. It's a piss parklet. <laughs> And I had to Nothing go going on here. So I grabbed some... Um, you had a spare pair? I grabbed some change from the, the my, my bag and went and sorted myself out and then went back and enjoyed the rest of the flight. Great. But I've, yeah, I've pissed the plane, bedwetters. Perfect. That's what, we, that's what we needed. Red light, green light. Are you ready? Let me get my... I'm ready. I'm red E. Okay. I feel like the way you're saying this is, is something I've done and you're about to... No. Okay. No. This one just fucking... 
this blew my mind. This is this is from Link, Lincoln McClyman. Sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong. Red light, green light. Now, water on your wheat bix. Now, before I finish, Lincoln had to sit there enjoying his breakfast. I'm going to assume it was porridge. Right? He's enjoying a nice bowl of porridge, a bit of brown sugar on it. He's then walked, watched his miso walk into the kitchen. She's rubbing her eyes. She's a little tired. She's like, it's time for my breakfast. She puts, I'm going to assume, this is pure conjecture, but assume it was four wheat bix into a bowl. Boils the jug. He goes, oh, sweetheart, must be making a cup of jug. She's a bit tired. Jug boils, ding, ding, ding. Takes it off, pours the boiling water onto the wheat bix, proceeds to eat it. With nothing else on top. That's it. Can I put a clause in here? Yeah. I'm going to say you got your four Wheaties. You got your four Wheaties. You got your four Wheaties. Yep. And it's a nice big bowl. It's a big bowl. You got a big spoon. Huge spoon. spoon. You're sitting down, you're ready. You've poured your milk on it. No milk. This is my clause. Okay. You've poured your milk on it. They're not soggy enough. So you go to the tap. <laughs> you just put a little bit of water on it to get that soggy, weedy vibe. Okay, so you're a serial killer. You so that's a green to me with a <laughs> slight, fucked. slight bit of water. You're fucked in I the like head. I like the mushy. Milk I'm, does it. If it's not enough. Put I'd, more milk on. I'd, we'll say the tap was closer. I'm a lazy fuck. You're going to put water on your wee bix Well, it's already got probably banana, yogurt, maybe a bit of brown sugar. What's a dash of water going to do apart from make it deliciously soggy? Fine. You can have a dash. A full bowl of pure water, boiling water on wee bix That's, That's a red. Ch- like she's tortured cats. That's a red. <laughs> but a dash to make them soggier is a green. I'll give you a dash. If it's mixed in with a lot of other shit, you can have a dash. Lincoln's miso is having fucking Wheaties with a full bowl of boiling water. Wheat Bix are already so dry and non, no flavour. You, you know that Franco would eat two Wheat Bix with butter in the middle? Like, no, he wouldn't. Oh, sorry, butter and honey. As a sandwich, he'd use it as bread. <laughs> it was like a snack. That is fucked. That's like eating sand from the Sahara Desert midday. <laughs> He loved it. Butter on wheat mix and honey and just... <laughs> I even vividly remember it like wrapped in glad wrap. Like I reckon he took it to work. Really? Yeah. That's fucking weird. He had some weird food um, c- c- combinations though. He liked bread with cream cheese and dates. <sighs> the more I learn about your family, the more this makes sense. What are you trying to say about Franco and Jill, you fucking pig? Excuse me. I'm just saying the more I learn, the more this makes sense. This, this, this. The more I learn about Franco and Jill, the more this <laughs> makes sense. What do you, what, wow. <laughs> it just. I'll call them and I'll get you to tell them that to their face. No, I'm a coward. There you go. <laughs> you want to hit Frank up about his wheat picks on the phone? Kinda. You want to? Yeah. Can we? Yeah. I need, I need to be run through it. He'd probably go, no, this didn't happen, Lou. And yeah. Franco had dead. Yeah, yeah, I like that. We used to have Vegemite cheese and lettuce sandwiches, which I... Oh, I don't mind the sound of that. Yeah, they were good. But I'd never seen any other kid with Vegemite cheese and lettuce. Poor Dad, I'm calling him more on the podcast than I am on his own. <laughs> <laughs> you go, what do that you want? That is hurtful mm, stuff. Bluetooth. Hey Lou, what are you up to? Hi Dad. Hey Dad. Are <laughs> uh, we doing another yeah. another sort of online thing? You're dead fucking right, What's mate. Now, Frank, now Franco, <laughs> I've got a bone to pick, mate. Oh, yeah? I, I need you to run me through something. Yeah. So you need the truth. I need the truth here. But this is this more <laughs> pertains to you, not your daughter. So let's, oh, right. Let me paint you a picture. It's a it's a it's a it's a beautiful spring Sunday morning. You've woken up, you're yeah. getting ready for work, you're thinking, far out, what should I have for lunch today? You're like, No, oh, I don't really feel like spending money on lunch. I'm just I've got stuff in the cupboard, I'm gonna make my own lunch. You get a box of wheat bix out. You get one wheat bix, you put butter on it, you put honey on it, you get another wheat bix, you put it on top, you close it like a little sanger. You put that in glad wrap, yeah. put it in your bag, you go to work. That's something you do? Buddy? Um, yeah, I would because I quite like wheat bix. 
So you yeah. used, that's you used to eat them. Yeah, I'd eat them without anything on them as well. They were quite nice, <laughs> just dry. <laughs> Judge can't, judge can't believe it, Dad. I said, I said, Franco would have wheat bix, honey, butter, and then another wheat bix and eat them. And Judge goes, No, he won't. Yeah. I said he did. Yeah, hey. yeah, no, they're, they're yum. Hey, Franco, you know when you order <laughs> something from Amazon and it comes in a box? Yeah. You ever just eat the cardboard? No. Okay. Same thing. No. Never same. gone that far. No. No. But wait a minute. Look, maybe I could, I should try it. I could butter it and try it. No, no, I would. I would. I love them. I respect I, I, it. I don't remember, though, I wouldn't have put honey on them. Um, you know, like if I was having them at home, I would, but not if I was taking them. I would have just had butter. Makes it worse, doesn't it? And, uh, um, yeah, I just have butter. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Sandwiches with um, cream cheese and dates. I get around that one, though. Yeah, oh, good. cream cheese, dates. Uh, mung beans and peanut butter. Oh, oh no, don't oh, remember yeah. that God, part, Dad. live on those. Are you fair, hey? Nickham? I don't remember that part, yep. the mung beans. And the peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, Mum would buy the mung beans and um, and then they'd be in the bottom of the fridge. And, and I can remember saying at one stage, look, because they'd sit down there, we'd never use them, and then they get thrown out. So um, when she'd come home with the grocery shopping, I'd just take them and throw them straight in the bin and say, I'm cutting out the middleman. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love it. <laughs> but no, they were they were yum. Those big, 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 big massive sandwiches with all that in it, yum. That yum. is. It honestly sounds like you've run out of food, and you're like, I just need to get rid of what's left. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I can do a little bit of that, but no, I, I did love the I, and still do um, the wheat bix. Yeah, with a little bit of butter on them, I could eat those. They're yum. And um, yeah, those big sandwiches. Just saying that reminds me just how good they were. Yeah. I know what Dad's having for lunch. <laughs> Same. I think we've half lost him. He's just like, oh, bloody good. All right, we'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> well, mate, thank you for clarifying because yeah, I don't know how to feel about all of that to be honest with you, but I respect it. Thank you. That's I think great. don't knock it till you try it, Jack. Right, I reckon look, you go home and have one of those yeah. sammies. So what have I got to do? I got two white bread, whole meal, brown. What are we doing? No, never white bread. It was it was you know sort of those. Um, we had a, a brand here called um, what was it? McKenzie's, I think. Yep. Yeah, and it was like that um, really whole grain with nuts and bits and pieces. Oh, like so a five cent. Grain. Yep. Yeah, lots of lots of um, cream cheese, the mung beans, dates. Now you had to sort of like I'm talking a lot of dates, not just a little bit in the corner. A lot of dates, and then peanut butter, and of course the peanut butter Jesus. would hold it hold the other side together. And oh mate, you want to, seriously? You want to try it? It's sort of like sweet and sour, crunchy, oh, yum. So passionate, this is. I've never been so passionate about anything in my life. This is admirable. <laughs> oh, you've sold me, mate. I'm going to give it a – Frank, I promise you, Can I'll you give it a please, go. please, please, and document it. I'll give it a go today. <laughs> oh, good on you. Oh, you're How a you bloody love. legend, mate. Perfect. Thank you, mate. Thanks, you Dad. It. All right. Hooroo, big going. fella. Ciao, Thank ciao. You. Bye. <laughs> I love him. Isn't he the sweetest soul? I love him. <laughs> I think I'm in love with Franco. Oh, God. He was so passionate. I know. Like, you could hear it in his voice, being like, the bread. You've got to get the right bread. And not just in the corner. You don't want the dates in the corner. Lots of lots of dates. Excuse me. You've got to try it for lunch, Jarch. You have to try it. And you've got to put it on the I'll do it, yeah. I'll try that letters. exact recipe. I reckon you're going to like it. I don't. I reckon you are. I'll tr- and I reckon you like Franco so much that so even if you don't, you're going to pretend I'm you do. Pretend it. I do, yeah, just to be in with Franco. Yeah, <laughs> you, you're going to get his number after this and call him like Franco. We're not on the potty, mate. Just wanted to have a yarn. Phenomenal. I'm, I'm going to slowly phase you out and slowly <laughs> phase Franco in. So you call him and goes, "Oh, we're on the potty again." You're like, "No, no, just for a chat." Yep, just you and me, Franco. Yes. Hey, I'm coming over to New Zealand tomorrow. Let's gonna, get a coffee and get some mung bean <laughs> semis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> I cannot wait. Three, two, one. <laughs> 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 Are you going to?
gonna do the podcast with those fucking things. No, I like can't. That. I can't. <laughs> that is. It was more fun for the reveal. So now I gotta be dressed like a pink fucking Power Ranger. You can get changed if you want. <laughs> Shall we get a photo? That is. Let's get a photo. You have absolutely crushed that. Go for a walk, do a lap for me. Shit, baby got back. Um, Bed winners, she's got a huge, huge inflatable koala costume. Like, it's fucking huge. It's ginormous. How would you wear this to a dress up party? It couldn't. How good is it, though? It's like eight year old Lou with ears. <laughs> <laughs> Red light, green light, regularly posting on LinkedIn. For me, that's a red. A red for me as well, but I also have. We've discussed this before. I have a lot of fun with people's LinkedIn. Yeah. So and I also need I'm aware it. it's the new DMs. No, 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 this is, no, that's not true. You can. It's like Strava. You could like kudos someone's promotion. Yeah, you can, but you know, Franco posts on it a lot because he's no he? other social media. Oh, you're getting on now. I've got to get him on LinkedIn. Yeah, you do. Because this is my bread and butter. Yeah. Because LinkedIn is such a serious, let's call it a social media yeah. platform. There's nothing better than just... I, actually, you know what? I might have to change that and maybe go orange because it's like when we post our stuff on Instagram, that's our job and that's our platform. Correct. Whereas like someone will post being like, I've just created a new astronaut for NASA and that's their, <laughs> that's their place yeah, to that's, post it, you know? That's what they're doing, yeah. They're not going to post it on their social media going, everyone, check out my new astronaut for, for Elon Musk. You know what you've done, don't you, buddy? What? Just sounded real dumb. That, didn't you? Why? You've created an astronaut. Oh, sorry, I mean astronauts are people. I mean, I mean spaceship, spacecraft, <laughs> Ast uh, what's it called? Rocket. <laughs> Fuck, whatever. <laughs> Holy shit! Mm. You know why we? I know we're doomed as a society because of um, artificial intelligence. It's people like you. I'm going to tell you something. What? And this is, I know this will be made into a video. For a while, when I was seeing. Oh, no. For a while, when I was seeing all over social media being like, AI, you know, reveals that it could take over the world in three years, I thought it was Al. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, who the fuck's Al? <laughs> Who the hell is Al that he's taking over the entire world in three years? What? <laughs> the fuck? But then I came to Dude, and realised oh it was AI. Oh, my God. Easy mistake. Al? It looks like Al. I get Who the hell's it. Alistair? What's Al doing that he's taking over the world? Oh, dude, my fucking... I've laughed so hard. Like, there's little lights. <laughs> I love that. Do, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the fuck on there. Should I have not revealed this? This is a bad one. Now, did you did you look? Did you Google search Al? Who's Al? No, I just... Oh. oh. No, I think I just clicked on one of the links and was like, oh, AI. Artificial in, um, intelligence. I was gonna say Easy mistake, though. It looks like Al. <sighs> it does. It's Alistair. Uh, I can give you that. But, I mean, come on, bud. Let's get it together. Must have been a Monday morning. Uh, <laughs> oh, Al, stop doing that robot thing you do. Fuck, that is funny, dude. Uh. Al. Hey, Elon Musk, who's Al? <laughs> 
you are you are the downfall of civilization oh. as we know it. Okay. Okay. So how how's your week been? Yeah, all right. What's yeah. your highs and lows? High. My high was seeing your state this morning. Low. <coughs> that. <laughs> that shit. Right in my fucking direction. It's just aimed at you. <laughs> just aimed. You're a fucking animal. You should live in a barn. <laughs> <laughs> you this is are an my animal. favorite podcast. This is my least favorite. Oh. No, I'm loving it. <laughs> Do you think we could both fit in one of these chairs? We're not trying it. Can we please? Don't want to be near you. Can I just come and try and see if we can fit? Yeah, hold on. I'll, c- what? <laughs> I'll come back here. Can we? They're big. Can we yeah. just see? Yeah, we can. Come on. Come on. We could do the podcast from one chair. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> Too close. This feels uncomfortable. I've never been this it? close to you. Hello. <laughs> we don't hug or anything. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. Bye-bye. Fucking animal. <laughs> that white claw's gone straight to me head. Yeah, it has. You and your breath. Is... No, it hasn't. <laughs> I'm very hygienic. I oh, know, that was just your armpits. Red light, green light. Yeah. Saying you baked a cake for someone, but it's a packet mix. Well, you've, techni- you've, you've technically, technically baked. baked it, haven't you? Dream. You've technically baked. You chucked a Betty Crocker in the oven. That's a bake for me. What about how all humans are essentially just baked cum? Oh, <laughs> what <laughs> the actual fuck? Think about it. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is... The most itch thing <laughs> you've ever seen. I'm shook. What the <coughs> fuck, Judge? Think about it. I don't want. But you just baked. <laughs> <laughs> that's humans. Oh, God, that's good stuff. Do you know? No. <laughs> mm, should I say this? Yeah. One time my friend <coughs> texts me and. Oh, shit. Uh, Ooh, highbrow podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, should I say this? Say it. Then we can make a decision. My friend texted me and she said, I just Googled how many calories is in semen. <laughs> how many? Nine. Nine. You've Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. That's a snack pack, all right. Don't make me giggle while I'm halfway through my vodka lemon squash. Sorry, Dale. Red light, green light. Grown men taking baths. This was from Reese Graham. Like a red light, green light, grown men like fully pouring a bath. And like, babe, I'm going to pour a bath. Puts a bath bomb in it. If I, okay. <clears throat> if I was dating a guy, it was very early on. And he, I was like, oh, what are you up to tonight? And he was like... Oh, just having a bath. I would. <laughs> I know it's so mean because people are allowed to do what they want. I get it. What I, you just I said. I think I'd block that number. Oh, with the way you just said that. Like you, you, you should be allowed to take a bath. It's a normal thing. I love a bath, but the thought of a grown man sitting there, probably no um, bubble bath either, and just like your penis kind of just like floating. <laughs> do you know that's what it does? Your cock sort of just. It just like floats up like this and your balls, they're like buoyant. There's like there's buoyancy to them. And then like the little tips can sometimes breach the water like the iceberg. And it's literally like the tip of the iceberg <laughs> and you flick it. It's fun. Fuck, I'm into it. I like bars again. I'm going to go have a little bar so I can, <laughs> so I can watch that happen. <laughs> the thing is, there's not a chance you're putting bubble baths. You in, just get in, a boat. Just in milky water. You're I used to love bubble baths. As a kid, that was just the funnest thing ever. Mm-hmm. You get a little boat, hit the iceberg, pretend it's the Titanic, sink, little, your cock sunk the Titanic. <laughs> Take that, Rose and Jack. Little cockberg, gotcha. Classic cockberg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining you going home tonight. Steph's like, what I, are you doing? We've got a bath in the new yeah, place, like, dude. I'm having a bath. Yeah, uh, I'm having a bath, Steph. I honestly want to. 
because I haven't had oh, that for so long. Obviously, put it on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll film it. Could you film the cock? I'll Instagram live and I'll be like, hey guys, this is my recreation of the Titanic. Punk. <laughs> Might have I could come over and film it. Yeah, you, dude, you've been in the bath with me. <laughs> like kids. Like two kids. We're getting stiff to film <laughs> it. Stiff, can you film us? And you're going. Boom. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, we're so immature. Okay. Yeah, green light for bars. I'm into them. God. We're losing her. She's going to Europe tomorrow. She doesn't care about you bedwetters. Fuck off, oh, mate. I'm pep- taking all the bloody podcasts. her up. I'm taking all the podcast gear to go to Europe. <laughs> Europe. Now, you get to choose a fancy new one, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Now who's very lucky, aren't you? Me- <laughs> now, don't you? Now listen up. Now you choose one. Down not, not, or not, up? Not the top one. Because <coughs> we played that. Don't go too far because we've been playing ones we've played already. Okay, found it. Right. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> You're very <laughs> clever, aren't you? Don't you? <laughs> That's how my nan used to say it. She'd always be like, oh, it's... No, it's a nice. Sh- um, you look great in that shirt, darling. Don't you? <laughs> oh, that's a, like a nana and granny's way of saying yeah. like you. I think it's a very Australian. Aren't you? Aren't you? Oh, you're very good at athletics, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, we're supposed to do the sign thing this week. You're gonna have to do it when I'm in Europe. No fucking way. Am I doing Aren't it without you? you? Aren't you? <laughs> You're going to have to do that while I'm away, aren't you? That's <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. That is funny. Now, now oh. you've got to be careful overseas, Lulu, don't you? No, this is sad, guys. Don't you? Oh. Right, hey, what a shit show. Hey, bedwetters, love yous. Um... Thanks for listening, Lulu. Thanks for bringing Kevin. He was a great addition. He, he was. wasn't. Don't do it again. Oh, um, anyway, fucking yep. Jarchi on me. Meanwhile, yep. I fucking Jarchi and fucking okay. Lou on TikTok, <laughs> TikTok and, and, fucking and fucking keep pissing, guys. Whatever, just get Lou it. Lou Lulu dot com um, forward slash OnlyFans. Okay, um, hooroo, hooroo. Okay, guys. Yeah, thanks for listening. Um, keep pissing and, and ciao, 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 ciao. Fucking nerd. Fucking nerd. <laughs> I'm nerdy, bra. Only like to Titties in a perky, perky bra. bra. Big, Big around, around yeah, like, like I'm circular. circular. You're, You're a weird can't guarantee I'm quirkier. quirkier. Uh, uh. 29 and still making raps too. Many flying uh. birds in the line of tattoo. Come on, yeah, I was <laughs> taking those days too. Couple of wines, couple of jewels in the tattoo. Uh, that's what my night looks, looks like. like. Look at your face, what a fight looks like. Put it in your place like a lighthouse light. I flick the switch and put your lights out night. Yeah, yeah. I'm ruthless, bra. Fuck around and I'll leave you to this, bra. I'm a dumb cunt, but you a stupid eye. You're full of gas, you can't call you Jupiter. What? Mic drop. Yeah, you heard it first. We meanwhile, Jachi and Lou, motherfucker. Two of the biggest senioritas in the fucking East. Yeah! Ha 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 ha. That was...